Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazale, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the trading session. The Monday, the 30th of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signals, and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly visit the uh, App Store at Google Play and the Apple App Store as well uh, in order to download that uh, latest app and follow those uh, signals and market updates. Okay, from leading providers. Okay, in terms of uh, the markets, then basically we're reading from the sell off from the US session on Friday. Post GDP data certainly seems like the GDP wasn't strong enough or certainly uh, was strong enough to uh, signal a hawky stance from the Fed. Uh, again, it was tech stocks that certainly uh, led the route uh, in the selling. Uh, the Dow Transport certainly uh, topping out as well, the Russell as well. So again, we've got risk aversion from Friday night in terms of US equities, okay. Asian markets overnight certainly lackluster as well. Uh, Nick Shanghai down, Hang Seng down, Nikkei down as well. In terms of this morning, uh, the main real um, uh, focus points is the German inflation numbers coming in stronger than expected. So watch out there, okay. Um, last week we had the uh, bullish, obviously, uh, uh, reaction post juncture and Mr. Trump, obviously, de-escalation in terms of the potential trade war with Europe and the US. But the Chinese trade war concerns remain. In terms of uh, economic numbers this morning, services sector yeah, from the euro sentiment, services sentiment coming in stronger, consumer confidence more or less flat, industrial confidence weaker, business comp, climate weaker, and economic sentiment more or less flat as well. I think the main focus really was German uh, inflation numbers coming in slightly stronger than expected. So again, that is a cause for concern that keeps the euro higher, which in turn causes the European indices to come under pressure. So again, US session weakness, especially tech stock weakness, okay, was certainly expected to drag. Uh, also overnight, Mr. Trump did threaten to shut down the government. Again, that's a risk off factor as well. Uh, in terms of uh, the current status quo. Okay, now moving on to technical uh, aspect of the market. As you can see, we've gapped down in the German DAX. Now, there is a big gap to fill underneath. Given the nature of the sell-off in the NASDAQ, the German DAX certainly hasn't come in line yet. I was expecting a sell-off down to 12,780, potentially even down to 12,720, and or even gap filled below. So let's watch out there. It certainly seems a euphoria post Trump and Junk. The Trump and Juncker meeting certainly is holding on, especially in terms of French CAC as well. If you look at the daily chart, the French CAC went into gap fill. Okay, we're just uh, we're around 75%. Looking for further risk aversion here as well. Uh, okay, uh, in terms of the French CAC, I mean the next key real resistance is at 5560 at present. Uh, you've got a gap fill obviously around here, but we've surpassed that now. Okay, so let's just take that out of the equation. Okay, uh, again you got unfilled gap below at 5240. The French CAC certainly benefiting to a large extent. Okay, uh, again, from my perspective, I know we've got a gap fill, but the gap lower is quite, quite small uh, compared to US sell off, uh, given the fact that we close around the 5510. We're down to 5486. Certainly looking for potential support to be tested down here at 5480 and potentially even gap fill below. So watch out. Previous resistance equals support as well. So, say looking for further weakness there in, in French CAC. FTSE 100 again looking for further weakness here as well. I was expecting uh, 7640 support, potentially 7620 support to be tagged and tested. That isn't the case. We also have chaos in terms of uh, the uh, situation in terms of um, Brexit. Uh, the latest poll now that more than 50% of people want a revote, okay, of the referendum, and 85% I think basically think that the government is shambles. I've been saying that ever since. I mean, Ms. Theresa May doesn't really have any skills. Tory party doesn't don't really have a leader you know, as such. The uh, only, only way they win votes is based on racism and scaremongering, which is sad, uh, given the fact that at uh, one time I was actually a Tory supporter. Certainly not any longer, okay? Um, again, uh, it's, uh, it's always you always vote for the lesser evil, and at the present it certainly seems that like Labour is a lesser evil, even though they have weaknesses as well, and nobody is perfect. Okay, so basically that's where we are. We do obviously move higher than you are looking at resistance at cap fill. Certainly not expecting that gap to close given these obviously concerns that we're, ex we're experiencing at present. Again, uh, the gap has closed early on, but I am looking for a retest of that support around 7660. Okay, potentially even down to 7640. So looking for further weakness there. Okay, so that's a good summation really of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com. Take advantage of that bonus, certainly um, a bonus on offer there. And also visit Trade Signal and download the latest app. On that note, I wish you the best for the trading day. Uh, nothing really for the rest of the day other than US pending home sales. Uh, I think the focus really on this week is on central banks, and I'll be making a video on that later on. Goodbye now.